And I've been living fast life, but I live, but I live, but I live. And I've been living fast life, but I see it in slow. And I've been living fast life, but I see it in slow. And I've been living fast life, but I see it in slow. And I've been living fast life. Welcome back again, my wonderful community. In this video, we are going to be looking at some of the major problem most people who want to beat match always have. That means the major problem that comes with beat matching tracks, especially when you want to flow two tracks together, have a perfect mixing that will make everybody enjoy what you are doing. First, you first need to know how to set cue point. You can never be a good DJ, no matter how hard you try, if you don't know how to set cue point. That is the first point. Yes, you got me right. Two, from setting cue point, before you should be able to set a perfect cue point on where to start your track and how to end your track or where to end the track. You first need to know how to count beat. The concept of counting beats I have been saying here is not because I want people to be playing with sand. Yes, for those of you who play with sand a lot. This is serious business now. It's not those days. Yes, look at this very track that is playing now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very simple. Yes. You have to sing it until you get tired of the whole thing. That is why if you are coming into the DJ industry, passion should be part of it. And you must be willing to learn. If you know you are not prepared to learn, I think you can go and look for another different thing from being a DJ. This one, two, three is going to be part of your life. For life. It will get to a stage in your life where you will not necessarily be counting. Your brain is calibrated to be counting it unconsciously from the very first moment you start playing any song. You start counting it. Do it like when you are much younger, when your parents sent you to go and buy things. Where you rehearse the song or rehearse the price or rehearse what you are supposed to buy else you get the beating of your life <laughs> so that is what will happen if you don't learn this you are going to be given a very serious beating of your life in this dj industry oh my days after this the next thing is you must learn to identify the bpm that is the beat per minute of your track if you want to have a perfect beat matching yes look at it if you look at the two tracks i'm playing here you can see this is 114, look at it. So irrespective of the range of the gap, look at this. This is plus 12 in the pitch. This is plus 3. These two must tally if you want to beat match. Even if they will not tally, the gap should be very minute. It should be negligent enough. Margin of error is allowed, but that means if you are going to be having a margin of error, you are going to be using the notch key. Look at them here. Look at these keys I'm having here. These two arrow keys, left and right arrow keys. You must learn how to use them. So that you are going to be pushing the track gradually to synchronize, to synchronize, whether forward or backward with the other track that you are playing with. That is what most people who use controllers do. They notch a lot. You see a button, you see the edge of the controller having a round revolving point where they keep their, sometimes they keep tapping it clockwise or anti-clockwise based on the track that is played they are not frying akara they are not frying masa what they are doing there is they are trying to make sure that everything is working perfectly for those of you who are not djs and you are watching this video that is exactly what they are doing that is why their fingers are always moving it's not for sure it's not child play this is not something that ai can do three after that while you are doing that you need to learn how to use the sync button to go with that 
So the next point that comes with this is you need to understand or know how to identify the key of your tracks. Yes, look and see. This is this is look at it. This is C sharp major. It's also applicable the same thing here. C sharp major. So irrespective of the variation of the beat, that means the beat per minute of your of the track, I was able to make sure that I get tracks that have a very common harmonic key which is also talking about if you watch my video about harmonic identifying harmonic key and this is revolving around harmonic mixing harmonic what harmonic mixing is no child play so it means you have a lot of things to learn so it's not the about give me this give me that for those of you running here task getter it's beyond that so you have a lot of things you are going to be working with you need to learn all these things and you must yes it's a must or you can go and be doing those trial and error videos that tell you how you make money online without lifting a finger i wish you best of luck in that when you get tired of the whole thing you will get sense so with these major things that i've just mentioned here if you're able to perfect it i believe in no distance time you will become good in at least from the elementary stage or even as a perfect dj no matter how good you are, if you don't master these points I just listed, just forget about it. You are still doing trial and error. Yes, you heard me right. It's painful, but it's a reality. Go back to the basics. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to make sure that you get to appreciate the basics of everything in this life. There is no fast rule about it. There is no shortcut anywhere. A lot of people find it very difficult to get certain things to build themselves in this life because they are looking for shortcuts. They want to skip the basic foundation and it doesn't work that way. You must go back to the basics. These basics are going to be part of you every day as long as you remain a DJ. So you can clearly see everything here. I'm going to pick for the details about the mapping and all the videos I talked about. I have a couple of them on this channel. So at this point, we are going to be running a very simple test to see if the beat matching will go well at this with these two track i'm having on deck two and deck one we have i do here and then we have also db here yeah. then the i make sure that the q point is set on q1 look at it this is the beginning of the tip then i place it on loop then i have this one playing i'm going to drop it on the one of this very one you can see the beat per minute everything is okay the margin is just negligible so we are going to see if everything will work well or not then we'll get to know where the problem is and how to fix it. Look at it now. So with this clear demonstration, it means something is wrong with this little mix we just did. Yes, something is wrong. The thing did not really flow well the way we were expecting because if we pay close attention, you get to see that the harmonic keys look at it 1e and then this is 12e so you can see 1a and 12a and based on the harmonic key arrangement i'll go to the harmonic key table so you can clearly see it we have 12a here we have 1a here yes even though they are close but if we have to use our t arrangement by the time we put our t straight like this and like this like this and another thing is if we are, if we really want to make it work even with this the what we are, what we are supposed to do is to make sure that we turn off the bass completely bring it down because this track appears to be hard and this one is soft when you look at the arrangement of the wave that is one major problem again so what i advise most of the time is if you cannot do this adjustment especially as a dj if you are just starting the best thing is avoid these tracks for now while you get to find ways on how you build it gradually but i just give you the tip now so don't forget to keep a date as I continue to bring you more. Check the mapping and other resources at the description box. I'm going to be putting on more content in this regard so that you get to learn and perfect exactly what you really want to build up your career as a DJ. And if you are using Cross DJ, especially based on this request, it's also applicable. The Cross DJ feature has all this feature. It has provision where you can use your notch key to notch up and down. As I've showed you. So, thank you for being there. Catch you in my next video.
So you can see everything went well at this stage now because I'm able to remove the bars of this track, bring it down completely, and everything is fluid. So that is how we should be. Catch you in my next video.